In this video on Programming Basics, we look at variables and constants. The Memory Address Register, or MAR, contains the address of an instruction or data to be fetched from or written to memory. In a similar way, a variable is nothing more than a pointer to a memory address that we can give a user-friendly label or name to. So to look at some examples of variable constants, we're going to use the game Beat the Dice. It's a simple game for children learning to compare one and two digit numbers. The rules are as follows. The player rolls two dice. Doubles do not count, the player must roll again. And the player's score is the value of the highest and the lowest dice combined. And the highest dice is always first. So if you roll a five and a seven, the result would be seven five. Here we see the full program. Note the program code you're seeing here is in Python. So here we see a variable. A variable is a value that can change or vary, hence the name, while the program is running. It is simply an address in memory. So the line of code total equals zero carves up a piece of memory assigns the integer value zero to it and gives that piece of memory the label total so we can access that memory location. Here we have a constant. A constant is a value that remains fixed. It does not change while the program is running. It can't vary, it remains constant. It must be set when the program is first written. Again though, it's very similar. We're carving up a piece of memory, assigning it the value 2, and then labeling that piece of memory with a label rolls underscore per underscore player. The difference here is that's now fixed. Whenever we access that label, we'll get 2, and we won't be able to change its contents while the program is running. In both these examples, we're seeing what's called assignment. Assignment means we supply a value to a variable or constant, and it's performed with the equal symbol. You'll notice the value we want to assign is on the right, and the identifier or label is on the left. We assign from right to left. Operators can be used on variables. For example, plus is an operator that adds the contents of total in this example to the contents of roll value and stores the results in the variable total. So we've got two variables being used. We take the contents of total, add it to the contents of roll value, perform the operation, and then reassign the resulting calculation over the top of total. Constants make a program easier to read by replacing strings and numbers with meaningful identifiers that are easy to understand. Constants make a program easier to modify and update. A constant value may be referred to many times throughout a large program, but will only ever need to be modified in one location. Constants also therefore help to avoid mistakes in a program. If we attempt to assign a different value to a constant somewhere in a program, other than at the point where the constant was declared, the compiler will produce an error. Now, in our example here, you can see the declared constant at the top VAT is only actually being used once in this program. It's about two thirds of the way down. But imagine this was a much larger and more complex financial program with thousands of lines of code. It's likely the constant VAT would appear in dozens or even hundreds of locations. If the value for VAT changes, we only now need to update it once at the top of the program. Let's briefly discuss the importance of using meaningful identifier names. We have given both the variable and constant a meaningful name in our program, and we'll stick with these names throughout the program. It is important that all identifiers are given meaningful names, as this helps with reading, debugging, testing, and maintaining code. By using meaningful names for identifiers, our code starts to make sense. For rolls in range, dice one equals zero, 
dice 2 equals 0. While dice 1 is equal to dice 2, we know what the program is doing. If we've given these variables names like A and B, it would be less obvious what the program was doing by looking at the code. Your teacher will have chosen one of four different languages for you to use during the exam, Python, VB, C Sharp or Java. And this will almost certainly be the primary language that you're studying during your A-level. Although the syntax of each language is a little different, the underlying concepts remain the same. We use a variety of different languages in our examples, but don't worry if the code doesn't exactly match what you're being taught. Learn the concepts and apply them to your chosen language. Having watched this video, you should be able to answer the following key questions. What is the difference between variables and constants and how can they be used? What do we mean by assignment? And why is it important to give identifiers meaningful names?